it's, it's weird how sneaky it comes up. And I love your, both your practical as well as like the academic ways in which it's come up. So thank you for sharing. And I asked that not knowing what the answer would be. So yeah, no, trust me. I was, I I'm shocked by how much I <laughs> accounting. I really, no I, cheat and you're doing good. <laughs> yeah. No cheat sheet is going straight off my brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. So study, 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 test, test, uh, traveling. Um, is there any time for fun? Uh, either right now or doing your uh, undergrad back in Canada like what do you like to get up to for fun yeah um, I honestly love going for walks it's so simple but I just love listening to music and going for walks it's one of my favorite things to do and I also love watching documentaries about climate change I'm just like so passionate and learning more about that that it honestly is fun for me when I get to learn more about that Um, and I also one thing that I've like recently gotten into because I was at an event at Oxford and someone came up to me and was like what's your creative outlet and I was like oh (laughs) I don't have a creative outlet (laughs) like I was humiliated I'm like oh um I don't know like listening to music was that their (laughs) opener (laughs) like yeah that was I was like wow (laughs) so that's something that I've been doing for fun lately is I'm really into different creative work like I've started painting I'm really into photography um and just making little Mm -hmm. videos I've been finding really fun as well Amazing. I I would also be really stuck to answer that. Although one of my things would probably be like, I like making podcasts and I like connecting um, with former former students and uh, and sharing stories. But I agree uh, that um, there's definitely room to explore more creativity in our life. Right? It just enriches everything. Yeah, I've noticed since that was brought to my attention. Like I have been so much better at like um my creative planning as well now like my I make my five-year plans a lot more creative and Mm. they're more fun because it's like that's a form of creativity as well completely do you think um like physical activity uh, can be creative as well like learning learning new things to expand or yeah definitely like I love going to the gym it's one of my favorite things to do um I find it is just like a good brain cleaner sort of which is the way that I see like creativity as it's sort of like a reset a different way of thinking yeah that's kind of where I was going with it I just didn't know if if you agree necessarily because a secret between you and me and whoever's listening um (laughs) is that Saturday I have a private lesson for Brazilian jiu-jitsu and I did private because I'm like you know I want to try this but I don't necessarily want to like be in like just dropping on a Saturday class so I was like whatever I'll just I'll do one one class I'll maybe do like you know, commit to a few, but I want that, you know, when you exercise and you're so intense and you're like, your brain is in there and your body is in there and you kind of just clear out everything else and solve problems. So anyways, that's kind of what I'm after. And I was wondering what, yeah, if that job kind of how you were thinking about creativity. Yeah. That can count as one of your creative outlets for sure. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Right. Um, it's, it's whatever um, brings think- you creativity. Well, and part about being an educator is I think um, recognizing that your learners are doing something for the first time. So you need to um, put yourself in that to get that empathy so that when somebody comes to your office door and they, you know how they feel because you felt like that recently for something else. And I, as much as I'm like, oh no, I'm nervous. I don't know. I'm like, this is a good feeling. This is relatable. Um, It's also creative. Okay. Um, 